Hello my dear family members I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Wipro exam as I got information guys you are having your Wipro exam on 3rd of August and you got the mail right so that's why today I thought to upload a video where I am going to discuss about the top coding questions Wipro is asking these days not Wipro the exam conductor that is AON they are asking the questions and these are very important because these questions are repeatedly asked in Wipro exams even some questions are easy but still they are repeatedly asked okay so let me discuss all of this one by one so that you don't miss anything okay before that guys if you have not subscribed this channel yet then please do subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any government that you want and please show your big heart by sharing this content with your friend okay so let me start by one first question that is um this so the first question will be like this from easy sections right array manipulations find missing numbers in a sequence so let's say the number is uh like there will be an array given two five two three six okay so this is the array okay now they will ask you to find a missing number okay in the sequence or in an array this can be like a, a sorted array this can be an unsorted array descending ascending anything but uh, you have to find a missing number okay so probably there will be the sorted array there will be a sorted array like this two four two four eight ten okay so they will ask you what is the missing number so you have to find the pattern right here the pattern is after 2 it is plus 2 that is 4 after that there should be a plus 2 there should be a plus 2 again there should be a plus 2 so this is what the pattern you have to at first uh, see then you can see that 6 is the missing number so output will be 6 okay so please write the code for this i love it okay find the missing number in a sequence or find missing number in any uh, in any pattern of sequence okay or in a list or in a in an array so let me show the next question that is also from array manipulations most of the fast coding questions so there will be two coding questions right two coding questions so among these two coding questions one question is going to be from array or string manipulations so be prepared with that still this can be helpful for you so i hope you know the pattern that is you will be having logical reasoning questions quants questions essay writing questions english questions and also you will be having this round that is coding round okay so among this coding uh these two codings you will be having one array or string manipulation question so that's why these are very important sorting arrays first half ascending order or second half in descending order or let's say full ascending full descending this way also they can ask so the same questions can be asked in different way like the uh like the previous questions you can see uh, find the missing number in a sequence so that questions will not be just in one line the questions will be like uh, from starting from here and ending at here okay so this can be the scenario where you have to find the gist of the question that you have to find the missing number in a sequence you here it is told that sorting arrays in ascending order in descending order half ascending half descending this is like one line question but this is the gist of the question you have to find the gist of the questions at first so the questions can be longer the questions have more like may have uh, descriptions having more than 200 300 words so you have to find the gist right so please find that then try to figure out the answers okay sort the array in descending or ascending order just one thing to remember that is you can't uh, use inbuilt function here like if you are using python then use just sort method and um, things things are fixed no this is not the proper way to solve the problem okay and they will not allow you to use the inbuilt function to solve the sorting arrays for sort uh, using sort method okay so uh, i hope you understood so let me go to the next question so the next question is this array manipulations so finding distinct elements or frequencies so let's say there is an array 2 3 4 4 3 1 2 okay and you have to find the distinct elements so the same questions can be asked in different way you have to find the distinct elements that is uh, what are the distinct element presents 1 2 3 and 4 
so these four elements are present they are distinct okay nothing else so and uh, distinct means unique elements are present and what are the frequencies of these elements that is for one uh this is only one the count of one is one count of two is two count of three is two count of four is two so this is the output okay so this is for frequency and this is for distinct element so the same questions can be asked in different way so please try to give the answer in the comment section uh the uh, coding can be like python java c plus plus these all are allowed okay so please give the answer in the comment section so let me go to the next question but before that guys i want you to have the prime materials of wipro in which you will get all the recent questions with answer all the previous questions uh, logical sections quant section english section coding essay writing communication assessment that is wipro as well assessment mock test and also interview experience are available so please visit topmentor.com/technology.web the link will be given in the description box please visit that and have the materials because people are giving so much love to us and to our materials as you can see people are giving five stars to our materials and also you can see uh we have been recognized a top performer in top mate as well so please act accordingly the link will be given in the description box okay so the next questions can be like this uh array manipulations but the question is matrix operations like multiplications transpose a matrix diagonal sum etc so matrix related problem can be asked so in aon so aon is conducting the exam right so aon love to ask questions from matrix so uh, let, let's say this is the matrix 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so the questions can be uh please print the element in a spiral format spiral format means this format 1 2 3 6 9 8 7 4 5 so output should be 1 2 3 six nine eight seven four five so this should be the output this is the spiral format according to the question you have to solve this problem or they can ask you to multiply two matrix let's say one two and two three so, and here three four five six so you have to multiply this uh, array, uh this uh matrix as well you they can ask you to return the transpose of the matrix as well or you have to return the sum of diagonal let's say this is the matrix you are provided so you have to return the sum of the diagonal elements like 1 plus 5 plus 9 or let's say uh, 3 plus 5 plus 7 so these are the diagonal sum of this matrix so this way they can ask the questions and again i'm requesting you that please don't expect one line question the questions will be having descriptions more than 300 words 400 words you have to figure out the gist of the questions that it is asking about matrix multiplications or it is asking about matrix transpose or matrix diagonal sum you have to figure out that okay so let me go to the next question that is this uh, reverse a string so again this, this is from string manipulations so reverse a string very important questions and again for the um, array based questions they are they can also ask reverse uh, reverse and array okay that can be a good question as well reverse a string is also very good important questions uh, let's say uh, this from the same questions they can ask different questions right like uh, return a palin if this is a palindrome or not so palindrome based questions very important so uh, maximum palindrome possible in a string maximum uh, substring possible so these are the string manipulation questions string based advanced questions so please try to focus on those refers a string this is also good questions this is a base concept from which you will get a different questions okay so reversing a string like uh, let's say take no uf okay just you have to reverse this like this way f u o n k e t okay so this way you have to return the string okay so and again from these the questions can be asked like uh write if the write a program to find if the string is random or not okay and this can be asked like if this is an anagram or not okay the same question same logic you have to apply here okay so the next question is counting character frequencies similar way as we have done in array here also the questions can be asked like if this is the string subscribe 
then you have to count the character frequencies like s how many is present two how many u present one how many b present two how many c present one how many r present one how many i present one how many e present one so this way you have to return the character frequencies okay so the, these questions can be asked as well and very honestly if you watch if you are watching the playlist of uh we pro at our techno uf youtube channel then you can see the latest video in which i have shown you the real questions where they have asked about uh, multiplications or the product of numbers like uh, let's say this is the number two three and they are asking two into three you have to multiply and let's say if this is the question five four three they are asking just return the multiplication of the numbers like digits five into four into three so what is the output that is 60 okay so if you are telling that if you are uh, understanding that uh, why i am showing this type of easy questions because they are asking the first questions easy that's why i'm showing you th that okay i hope you understood so let me go to the next question that is this string manipulations so removing vowels from a string is also a very good question let's say uh this is the string uh ubk anna okay if this is the string they asked you to remove the vowel okay that is b k n n this should be the output all the vowels are removed u a and a all are removed only b k n n are there so this should be the output okay and uh, one thing i forgot to tell you that is let's say this is the string 0 1 0 0 0 1 sometimes they ask to push all the zeros at the front and push all the ones at the end okay so the output should be like this 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 this way the questions can be asked they can also ask in the same way like uh, let's say a b b a b a they can ask you like uh, push all the b's at the front and push all the a's at the end okay and the same questions can be asked in different way like push all the vowels at the front and push all the consonants at the end okay so if you know the logic then you can implement it so still if you want all of these important question solutions all the real question solutions please visit topmain.ir.com there we have given all the important questions with answers so that it will be helpful for you only okay and if you have very lesser time to prepare also this will, this will be helpful number theory questions calculating gcd of two three numbers so uh this is i i don't have to like explain but still uh let's say these are the numbers provided to you 30 and 40 or let's say 60 you have to find the gcd of these two number okay so implement the logic and try to get the solutions okay so what is the solutions for this i hope you can figure out that okay so the next questions is this i am going to discuss the advanced questions as well just to wait okay number theory based questions that is checking if a number is prime or not okay and if you are just telling that prime number is a very easy questions why you are showing this okay this is fine but they will not directly ask you the prime number questions they will ask you different questions from prime number like uh, uh there could be some uh range let's say 2 to 10 they will ask you to write a program to find prime numbers in a range okay and they, there can be some conditions as well like uh, find uh prime pairs in a dictionary okay and the questions not will not be in one line the questions can be uh, having several lines so there could be several conditions you have to match those okay so if you know the logic how to calculate a prime number then it will be helpful to calculate those problems okay and then sum of odd digits in a number so these questions i was telling like if this is the number two three four five and they are asking you to calculate the sum of digits or product of number digits okay product of digits so the same logic almost same logic will be asked okay here they are asking only odd digits you need to having some okay that is odd digits means 3 and 5 so 3 plus 5 is 8 so output should be 8 so please write the code guys 
uh, if you are seeing this for the first time then please start solving by yourself otherwise it will not be helpful okay so the next question is this linear or binary search implementation uh, let's say this is the string like 5 5 6 4 8 9 if this is the string uh, sorry array and if they are telling please find 4 here please find 4 in this uh, array if it is there then return the index if this this is not present then you return minus 1 okay so you have to implement linear search or binary search uh, according to their given constraints if the constraints given you uh, ha like the time complexity of log n then you can implement the binary search okay i hope you know that so please start solving by yourself okay and don't use uh, the inbuilt function okay okay the next question is regarding sorting technology so again uh, this question was almost i have shown you the at the beginning that is there will be one array and you have to sort that but here it is specifically mentioned about bubble sort insert and sort very honestly uh, you can ignore this question but still try to know the logic to solve the sorting methodologies okay sorting techniques okay please understand that because they are asking to sort an, an array okay and fibonacci series this is a very interesting questions and very very much important questions because fibonacci series is not they are going to directly ask you uh, they are going to ask you some questions where you have to implement the logic of fibonacci series okay so i hope you know uh, like let's say for nth number let's say 7 what is the fibonacci series that is 1 sorry 0 1 1 then 2 then 3 then 5 then 8 right so this is the fibonacci series for n is equal to 7 now they can ask you the same questions in different way like advanced fibonacci series what is the logic for advanced fibonacci series they given the conditions like this uh, you have to add previous three numbers instead of previous two numbers they are they are asking you to add previous three numbers like 0 1 1 then add these three numbers like 0 plus 1 plus 1 that is 2 2 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 sorry 2 plus 1 plus 1 that is 4 then 4 plus 2 plus 1 that is 7 then 7 plus 4 plus 2 that is uh, 13 so this way you have to add so the same questions can be asked in different ways so that's what i am asking you so please be prepared for that okay and again guys uh if you have not subscribed this channel then please do subscribe it and if you want me to make more content on wipro then please comment down so that i can make a video on today only okay so i hope this much of discussion is enough for today's session thank you for this session guys